Hi, my name is Wendy Argenbright. I'm with Westmore's EdTech Department. I just wanted to go over with you quickly how your student can submit a PDF annotated document. So there are going to be times when um, the teacher uh, has a PDF copy of a file and rather than have the students write on it with paper pencil, they would rather have the students be able to annotate those and submit an electronic copy of it. So one of the ways that we do this is we use the app Drawboard PDF. We use that app because it's available to all students. It's on the Microsoft Store. It's free, it's supported by Microsoft products and it works very well with the Dell 3190 touchscreen devices that the students have. If your student has their own personal device and it does not have a touch screen, you can use the mouse to annotate uh, using this. You could also use text boxes, but I would highly recommend that if you do not have a touch screen device, you go ahead and contact the district and get one um, assigned to your student. So within their device, they can go to the Microsoft Store. They're going to want to make sure that they see more public schools here at the top. And to do that, they'll need to make sure that they're signed into their profile with the More Schools account. Once they're here, they should be able to scroll through and find the Drawboard PDF app. So it looks like this. It's got a little hexagon on a gray square. And they should be able to install that directly onto their computer without any admin privileges. Um, so there's a little uh, install button. Uh, this is already installed on my computer, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, walk you through how to use that in the, uh, the assignment. So if your student logs into their Canvas page, uh, they will be able to find their assignments either on the to-do list or they will be able to go to um, the teacher's assignments or modules, however the teacher has their page um, organized. They'll be able to find the assignment. And some of the teachers will allow a preview of the file. So this is what the PDF actually looks like. But your student will need to download the copy onto their computer. So they're simply going to click on the PDF link. It's going to download a copy of that. If they need to know where it's at, they can click on this arrow and show in folder. And that will show you the exact location on the computer where this file was saved. They can open it here. Uh, but unless they've already set this as a default app, it's going to open it up in Microsoft Edge where they're not going to be able to annotate it. So we're going to go ahead and leave this downloaded and we're going to open up the actual Drawboard PDF application. So this is what it looks like. The first time you open it, it's going to walk you through a nice um, tutorial. So go ahead and allow your student to go through that entire tutorial, learn all of the features that are available. And we're just going to simply open this. So we're going to click on the plus button. We're going to go over here to File Explorer, and it's going to open up our Windows 10 File Explorer. So most of the time, downloads are saved into the Downloads folder of the computer's, uh, the student's document, and they will locate the most recent copy of that file. You can see I've opened it up several times. So this is a blank copy of the PDF file from the teacher, and this is the student's annotation wheel. So you can see uh, the tutorial will take you through how to use it. This is the main screen of the radial dial is what they call it. They can use pens to annotate either with their mouse or with uh, the touch feature of the screen. They can also use the erase. They can highlight text. So if they're reading through a document, they can uh, go through and highlight specific items that they want to remember. They can also insert images, they can insert shapes, they can insert text boxes. So these are all lots of really great features. Now one of the things um, that you're going to want to make sure that your student knows how to do is to save it. Microsoft um, Office products have auto save, but this does not. So these three bars here are going to take you to a screen where you can actually save all of your current changes. And it's going to save that same file directly to the downloads folder where it was originally stored. So now we're going to go back to the student's Canvas page. Yours will say Submit Assignment. We've already submitted this once, so we're going to resubmit. And they're simply going to choose that file from the downloads folder. So they're going to go back to the downloads folder. The easiest way to make sure that they're downloading the correct file is to look at the date stamp. 
So today is 10-9, it's 11.02 a.m., it's actually 11.03 a.m., but this shows me that that is the most recent file. This 1038 is a copy of the file that I did earlier, so I want to just make sure I look at that stamp and make sure that I've saved all of my edits. So I'm going to select that file, go ahead and submit it, and then the last thing that you want to make sure that your students do is go in and look at the file itself, because what they see here is going to be the blank copy the teacher created. If they download this submission, they will be able to see exactly what the teacher sees. So download that and then they can simply open it up in any app and they can see that their annotations and their uh, highlighting is actually on their submitted copy. If it's not, they have time then to go in and resubmit that assignment and make sure that they choose the correct file, make sure that they saved their annotations, so you don't have to wait until the assignment is late and the teacher comments back that, that they received a blank copy of the file. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to contact EdTech at mpsedtech at moreschools.com. Uh, you can also uh, direct any questions to your teacher and they will be able to make sure that if they can't answer that, that they can direct you to somebody who can. So I hope that helps and I really look forward to seeing how the students use this program. Have a nice day.